And if you're wondering, well, how, how is it that you know that the lights work? It's because I opened it up and literally dropped a coin in each slot. It's exciting. <laughs> it's Just to make sure that it worked. Ah, oh, see, and if you if you if you light up see the area you and up. you put another quarter in it by accident, it actually turns it off. It turns off the light. Ah, oh, fuck! Like we seen right there. All right, we're not having no luck in this one. Let's move over to the to this next one. This is the one I like. This is where you find me. Everything will be okay. Had to keep myself reminded. It gets lonely when you grind it. People hate you, so go love you. But it's exciting. It's a electrifying. It's light them up. Alright, what is up everyone? Ortiz X187 here. Back again with another arcade pickup. This time around we've got a couple of light em ups or light em up <laughs> ticket redemption game. Now these are exactly the same, you no know, identical, except for a couple little different things. Oh, I guess they are exactly identical. This one's got a light out. It's got a light up there, but it's missing it on that side. Which looks like it's the opposite for this one. <laughs> but it's all right. You know what? I don't even think it really needs it because um, this thing is like super bright. I actually might end up taking um, taking that one off or putting like a black light type of deal in it. But, you know, these are fully working, both of them. What you do is, you know, you put your quarter in here. Oh, and it throws it. You know, depending on what number it lands on down there, is, you know, the amount of tickets that you would get. Oh. <laughs> and I guess the object of the game is to light up all the circles. I think there's eight of them. Oh, so it's just right there, actually. You gotta light up all eight targets. You know, to get the bonus. See if you can light them up. So, let's actually get the light on. So we can take a better look at this. And down here is, you know, the, the mechanic that shoots the quarter or token. Now, the thing I like about this one is that it shoots it automatically. You know, once it goes down there, it has this, um, I'm not too sure what it's called, but I'm pretty sure it's for a pinball machine. You know, for the flipper or something like that. So it flips it up by itself. Now this one over here on this side does have the ticket dispenser, you know, with the ticket uh, holder and everything. I just have it off for the second at the moment, just because I don't want it, you know, dispensing out a bunch of tickets. It's it's exciting. It's a le le electrifying. It's light them up. Turn this one down. I just got a setup for for points. See if you can light them up. And if we look down here, you know, I'm over on the other one now, which is you know identical, exactly the same thing. Has a little, you know, mechanic down there, along with the volume control, and you know the ticket, the ticket tray. So down at the bottom of it, we see this little switch, micro switch, which is, you know, if it's all the way down, you know, it knows that it has tickets in it, and you know, it has the rest of the settings in here for the payout. You change the payout. And the, that's like blurry right here. But yeah, you can change out the payout and the bonus, the amount of bonus tickets. Or you could clear out the tickets that are owed. So that's pretty cool. Then apart from that, down here there isn't too much. If I get my light on here, it's just pretty much this right here. 
which holds all the, the tokens. Which this train is humongous. Let me see, let me see. Okay, so we got a couple tokens. You know, most of the times when I get these machines, they, they will have. It's a electrifying. It's light them up. I didn't turn down the other side. <laughs> so most of the time we, when I get these machines, they'll have like tokens. See if you can light them up. They'll have tokens or quarters or you know or something, one or the other, in there. And in this case right here for this one, we got we got a couple tokens. So basically the only thing that this thing is missing are you know the locks. So then we'll go open it. You know on both of them. They take one on the top and one at the bottom. Which that's very easy to to replace. I think it's like three dollars for a lock. Or you know the arcade lock that you need for this. And then back here on this one you know there are a bunch of boards but you know they're just for the lights and then on the top right here we've got the main the main board there we go which is not that big but you know it is all original at this point I don't know if you could like modify one of these or not I, I, I would say no just because of the type of game you know that it is. That down here at the bottom is just you know the power supply. And you know the rest of the sensors and boards that it needs, you know, for down there. We've got the attraction attraction mode on. <laughs> just so you know it randomly talks. Like over here we get to look at this board actually a little bit better which if we look at it you know it's all exactly the same and then up over here on the top left hand side are our dip switches for the settings of the game I normally don't mess with that too much the only thing I'll change is for like you know from tickets to points and that's just so you know I won't be wasting a bunch of tickets here So yeah, the cabinet isn't the cabinets. Both of the cabinets are in you know very good shape. You know, the last side of it are blue, and then the front of it's yellow. Which I kind of I'm kind of wishing that it was all blue. <laughs> a little bit of yellow in it, you know, is not gonna hurt it, especially since there's like yellow and stuff down there. So let's get um, our camera pod set up and let's stick a couple quarters in this thing. So the only thing about you know that's different about these is that this one takes tokens and the other one takes quarters. So the only thing that that is is you know the the mechanic that's inside of here. You can actually change them to pennies, nickels, or or multi coin, you know things. I don't know if you can really see the the token here. For the token being shot out. But at this point, I do know that all the lights work. Ah, it's just a matter of getting it, you know, shooting it in there. And if you're wondering, well, how, how is it that you know that the lights work? It's because I opened it up and literally dropped a coin in each slot. <laughs> just to make sure that it worked. Ah, oh, see, and if you if you if you light see up the area you and you put another quarter in it by accident, it actually turns it off. It turns off the light. 
Oh fuck, like we've seen right there. Alright, we're not having no luck in this one. Let's move over to the to this next one. This is the one that I like. And it's just because it takes quarters and I got a bunch of quarters. <laughs> now tokens I have a lot of too, but since they're different sizes, you know they all don't work with the machines. You know what? A quarter is a quarter, so that works in everything. Ah, oh. oh, we turned off that five. Oh, there we go. Turn it right back off. <laughs> well, you know what? That's pretty much the way. Oh, that's pretty much the way this goes. Oh, you're kicking the the tripod. And I guess one other thing that I didn't point out. Was that you know this moves back and forth. You know, so you can aim the. So you can aim the. The token or quarter. So you know, this one will be kind of a short video, not too long. I want to thank you guys for coming by once again. And for those of you that have been coming around for a while and notice the change of videos being uploaded, you know, I appreciate you for sticking around. Because before we did used to upload, you know, like gameplay video. Which I still do kind of a little bit, but I'm mainly focusing on arcade games, fixing them, and things like that. So yeah, thank you everyone once again for coming by. And like always, if you enjoy games like this, don't forget to subscribe and check out the playlist, the arcade playlist that I do have up on the channel. And I will see you guys and talk to you on the next video. Oh! So not too far into the game, I did notice that something was up, <laughs> something was funny in the game. And then all of a sudden, all these missile strikes started falling out of the sky. Now there are two reasons why I stayed in the match. The first reason is because 